Today's demonstration is for PathTrack WebView 2.5, a free upgrade that will be available for existing WebView servers very soon. All the capabilities that you see here, plus others, will be available to all nodes monitored by RPM 3000 cards upon the release of WebView 2.5. The trade-in program is available to provide a very cost-effective way to replace some or all of your old RPM 1000 or 2000 cards with RPM 3000s. Please contact your JDSU rep if you'd like more details on the Upgrade by Exchange program. Many elements of the WebView 2.5 display will look familiar to current RPM 3000 users. The strip chart and constellation diagram remain largely unchanged with the exception of the addition of an equalized MER trace and equalized symbol locations to the previously provided unequalized. The bigger adds are code word error detection as well as MAC track, the ability to pull the CPE MAC address from each packet demodulated. Code word error detection is critical as it allows you to know and not guess which impairments are affecting your customer's packets at the data level in real time. Having the MAC address for each packet demodulated provides many things, one of which is the ability to localize linear impairments right down to a street address by plugging the MAC address provided by PathTrack into your existing back office billing systems. Also added in WebView 2.5 is the impairment dashboard here on the left side of the screen. We'll talk about that in a second. As well as a live spectrum analyzer display. So with PathTrack, you can see impairments turn on and off in real time. It's one of the huge benefits of PathTrack is the real time nature of it. And so if a technician's out working in the plant viewing WebView on his laptop with a wireless card, he can see immediately if tightening a connector has an impact on the MER or has an impact on the code word errors if there's a code word error problem, as well as you can see the constellation change again in real time. The impairment dashboard here on the left side of the screen is intended to be a very simple red light green light format to tell a technician whether he has a problem on his node based on the equalized or unequalized MER for each packet as well as the presence of code word errors, as well as if there is a problem, which one of these six impairment types, carrier level delta, micro reflections, in band response or ripple, group delay, ingress under the carrier, or impulse noise, is the most common root cause of the problems. You see a min max average as well as a current value for each one of these impairment types that is displayed. These are updated live as each packet comes across. You also see a percentage here, and what this is is a roll-up of what percentage of packets since this QuamTrack session was started violate a user-defined threshold for each one of these impairment types. For impulse noise, it is a 0 to 5 scale. That you can adjust the sensitivity of how bad you want impulse noise to be based on the detection by our automated detection algorithm uh, before you call it bad, ingress under the carriers, DBC, um, and so on. Also, within each one of these buttons, you can click on it and you can drill down and see a detailed impairment chart for that impairment type. So in this case, for microreflections, you'll see an EQ tap diagram that, as you can see, up updates with each packet demodulated. For the most complex view, you can show all six impairment types at the same time, as well as the spectrum analyzer. So again, these update in real time. If you were to pause the session, then you can step back through these impairments, or step back through these packets one by one, and you can see what each impairment chart and what the spectrum looked like at the time that packet was captured. You can also view the strip chart information in a table format, and this table is sortable by each one of these individual columns. So if you said that you've seen several packets with low MER, low unequalized MER, you can sort by unequalized MER and you can see, ah, all of my lowest MER packets are all coming from the same modem, and when I look up at my high MER packets, I don't see any from that same MAC address. So I'm seeing that a lot of these problems are coming from one modem or a small group of modems, indicating um, a localized problem, not a, uh, most likely not a plant-wide problem. These MAC addresses can also be copied and pasted into the back office billing system again if you wanted to um, localize this down to a street address. So you can copy these, paste them into other applications. So 
uh, you can also use your DSAM as a cable modem and use it as a portable field probe. Range and register it out in the field and you can quantify the DOCSIS characteristics using all of these different impairment types as well as your MER and code word errors from any point in the plant back to the head end. It, again, it, based on the real-time nature of path track, if you have a DSAM out in the field and you go from one side of a tap to another and you see an impairment go away, then you know that the problem lives within that tap. So there are many other applications for WebView 2.5. If you have a persistent customer problem, like a customer who's had numerous repeat truck rolls, you can filter on just that MAC address and say, I only want to see packets from this specific MAC address. And then you can watch, set watch on that and see at what time of day packets from that given customer go bad. And when they do go bad, what is the most likely root cause of the issue based on these impairments? So it tells you what time of day to go so you send the right technician at the right time with the right tools to fix this persistent problem. 64 qualm turnup. We also have um, some instances where a customer will have a very full upstream and not have space to inject a carrier out of band to quantify a node for 64 qualm. Well, with this, you can use your existing customer's modem packets in band or use a DSAM from any point in the field in band and quantify what your group delay, your ingress under the carrier, your impulse noise, your ripple, micro reflections. You can quantify what all of those are to know the DOCSIS characteristics of your node before you turn up 64 qualm. So, WebView 2.5 and the RPM 3000 card can help your technicians identify the nature of impairments that are affecting their nodes and in some cases localize them down to a very small section of the plant using the MAC address capability. You can use your DSAM as a field probe to measure your carrier health from any point in the field back to the head end. Again, this testing is all done in band, doesn't require any open spectrum. Only with PathTrack and the RPM 3000 can you examine both live customer modem packets and a full upstream spectrum to identify all upstream impairments. For more information, please contact your JDSU representative or see jdsu.com slash pathtrack for more information. Thank you.